and welcome to the 2015 version of the LTC Signing and Interpreting for the Deaf training videos. I do one of these little introductions each year and uh, it just kind of let me tell you some things about the program. Let me tell you some things about what you can expect. Um, if you guys have been watching these videos for a long time, you'll notice I'm in a different room. I don't have the bookcases behind me. I decided to do something a little different this year and try to set up in a different room. I hope that doesn't become a distraction. Anyway, so signing and interpreting. This program is intended to be an encouragement. There's no way that, and there's no expectation that those of the kids that are participating in this are going to become fluent in sign language through this program. The idea here is to develop interest and to develop some rudimentary skills and to see whether or not they have, for lack of a better word, the aptitude for it. Uh, I think almost any kid can pick up uh, sign language pretty easily. Uh, but whether or not they have a love for it or not is something they won't know until they have tried it. And so that's what this program is about. This program is about testing to see whether or not the, the kids would want to do this as a service to Christ later on in their life. And which point they would actually have to learn sign language. Uh, this is a training video to help you get through three songs and a scripture. And even that will help build some confidence. It's one of the few individual events still left at LTC. I think that we spend too much time in group events and in a group event you can't really shine your own skills. And so there's been encouragement in the past for me to make this a group event where we can have a chorus. You know the reality of the situation is the deaf don't do that. Okay. That would be something cool for the hearing. This is really a service to the deaf. So I'm going to keep it that way. Judging for this, because this is not really a sign language skill test for a, you know, a job interview, we're looking to see whether or not the signs were learned. We would like to see it done clearly. We would like to see that effort was put into it. But if the signs are not exactly right, it's probably going to be all right. Okay? If it's not just as smooth as you want, work on it more for next year. Uh, we try to make the program very, very encouraging. Along those lines, uh, if you have a participant who is challenged in some fashion, and that could, that's very broad. Whatever the challenge is, though, we'll meet it. We'll take care and we'll do whatever it takes. If you have a participant who wants to do sign language, we will make that happen for them. Okay? Um, other things. You're going to find that in these videos, I am using what the deaf would call pigeon signs. In sign language, there's C signs, which is sign exact English, and there is ASL, which is as different from English as German is. Okay, It's its own language. Pigeon fits somewhere in the middle. It's kind of English, kind of signs. It's not exact English though, so it kind of sits in the middle. And the reason I do this is, one, signed exact English, I don't know it. Okay, And so I can't really do that one. Pigeon is what I what I do know, and ASL is too difficult to teach in these little short sections. Okay, and the reason why it is is because it is a language, and I, it's not just a matter of copy me as what you'll be doing in these videos. It's a matter of learning the language that is ASL, and there's just no way I can do that in just a few short videos. But, that said, if you have someone in your congregation who is teaching ASL, it is acceptable. If you have somebody doing C signs, 
that's fine. Either any of that is okay. I'm just saying that on this video, I'll be doing something that's in the middle. And the judges will probably not even have seen these videos. So if they haven't, great. If they have, fine. The videos are not a gold standard. You know, you don't have to do it exactly like I do. If the person that's helping, uh, the, the, the participant learn signs, say, you know, uh, I just don't like the way Paul does that. That's okay. <coughs> there are a lot of ways to say things and do things in sign language. Either way is right, either way is right. Okay? The important part is to make it fun and to make it something that is encouraging and so that the child who is doing this will want to do this more when they grow up. And so that's the goal. Anyway, join with me as we go through all of the signs for I am a sheep, there is a redeemer, and to God be the glory for the songs, and Ruth chapter 2 verses 2 through 12. Uh, sometimes we will read a verse in our Luke verse, you know, talk Jesus talk about leaving mother and father to come and follow him. I chose the Ruth version of the Ruth verse verses, sorry, the Ruth verses because it's an example of somebody who do does exactly that. They leave their mom and their dad and they go and they help. They were even willing to go to a foreign country. So anyway, that was the reason for choosing that one. Uh, it's a little, little piece of trivia. Anyway, look forward to seeing you all at LTC. If you have any questions, if you have any problems, if you have any issues, if you want to just talk to me, that's fine. I can be found on email. Uh, my email address is, well, let's see, this is going to be on YouTube. You guys all know my email address. So uh, I'm not going to say that out loud for the entire world to spam me with. Anyway, that said, email me if you have a question. All right, enough of this. Let's get on to the video.